What is up guys? We are back on Black Desert Online doing our witch walk through and we need to investigate the house on the top of the hill. Got a node manager up here. Wait a minute, an adventurer here? This is no place for the likes of you. You will find no adventures here. These lands have already been touched by death. Leave before it is too late. A house that no one lives in. I assume you've come for the meals. No one lives in this home anymore. This place was a f was originally where Ozzy, or Oz, the daughter of the governor of Keplin, resided. We are investigators currently trying to locate her whereabouts. A shame, really. She had such a loving heart. She would hand out food to the miners from this house whenever she could. If only she hadn't fallen to for that fellow, they may have avoided such a fate. I've already said more than I should. Be gone. I have nothing more to say to you. If you're still curious, go to Lord Marco Faust and Keplin. Just don't expect a warm welcome. Who are you? All right, Marco. I'm gonna find your daughter. Uh, I'm gonna do this on my own. I can I can save some time by doing this on my own. Go down this way. So someone asked me if I was going to do the endgame content that I'm doing. It's not really endgame, but the the later past 51 quests since I started doing all of those in... Uh, <laughs> excuse me. I've been doing all of those in the Sorceress videos. Um, if that was like that, I wasn't going to do them on this. And no, I'm going to do them on this one. Um, I might not make that like an everyday... Please don't kill me. I might not make that like an everyday thing because I've already done them live once, but... And we might skip a couple of quests in that, but... I will be doing them. How did I lose the quest tracking? How does that work? I think I... I, I want to let it autopath here, because it's going to take me around to where I need to go. Um, but yeah, that might become a little bit more of an every other day or a delayed upload thing, since we'd already have done it on the Sorceress, but... I will be doing it on this character, so just keep that in mind if you were wondering that as, as well. It always seems like when I start recording, I just, like, have to sneeze. It just, like, happens. just happens that way. All right, Marco. We Tina. talked before. How you doing? Oz disappeared? What do you mean? Oz is right next to me, isn't she? I'm Marco Foss, Lord of Keplin. Show your respect. How dare you mention my daughter, Oz. If you continue to talk of this nonsense, I must ask you to leave at once. He who watches the skies. To his right? It's this one. I was like, that's that's his, that's my right, but his left. My father, uh, no, no, my lord. My name is Tiana. No, no, it's it's Oz. Marco Foss is the Lord I serve. No, no, he's my father. She looks very anxious and unable to carry on a conversation. Let's go talk to the other handmaid. My sister's name is Fiori. All right, Fiori. You there. Why are you trying to stir things up? What are you trying to accomplish by mentioning that name? You shouldn't be sticking your nose in other people's business without full knowledge of what you're dealing with. Like you're some big shot. Fine then, if you're so curious to know what happened to her, I'll tell you. Oz was the only daughter of the, our lord. She was a kind-hearted person. She would often spend time handing out meals to the workers in the mines. One day, there was a huge explosion in the northern mine. Soon after, the workers then there began to petrify. Oz went missing around this time as well. Our lord sent soldiers out to look for her, but to no avail. When the search party returned with no news of Oz, our lords collapsed and fell into a mental stupor. His mind has not been completely intact since. Please do not irritate us further with your probing. The Lord has taken in a reversal of fate. What more do you want to know? I'll tell you everything if you promise to leave this place and stop harassing us. It's no different from the Lord giving us a new life. Uh, I think we just need to chat. Okay, identify uh, identity of the one of the woman who the Lord calls Oz. Uh, please understand that Tina may be a bit gloomy. She wasn't always like that. Few the war the woman Lord Foss believes to be his missing daughter is actually my sister Tina. We've been told since we were children that we look just like Lady Oz. One day, Lord Foss began to call Tina Oz. Not only that, he became violent and would throw wild fits of the likes that I've never seen before. He would scream and hurl things across the room. Once, he even threw a bowl of hot soup that hit Tina's face. 
Now Tina keeps her face covered to hide the scars. It has gotten so bad that she has no choice but to comfort the Lord and take over in Oz's absence. Lately, I've become more worried about Tina than the Lord, though. She seems confused about who she really is and keeps saying strange things. The Lord told us to refrain from making contact with others. Um, okay, I'm assuming we need to talk to our buddy here. Hee hee hee, what happened? Everyone is out of their minds. Why is everyone here so broken, huh? What is this? That woman? That crazy handmaid over there? She's looking at me. You don't think she can see me, do you? My sister's name is Fiori. I don't know. But I want my free gift. Come on, hold on, hold on. Come, come back out here, buddy. I want to complete this. Okay, let's see. Unaccepted Black Angel. Um, I'm assuming I gotta talk to Tina. Yeah, here we go. Black Angel. Black Angel. I, I really saw it that day. The Black Angels who came down. It's not too late. Please. No, I'm Oz, but Tulin? Tulin is still underground? Find Oz, my Tulin. What? What? Accept it. There we go. I hit A like twice and it wasn't accepting it. Okay, so we need to find Tulin somewhere in the Keplin underground mine. This has gotten weird. But I like this. This is a quest that I did not do on my main character. So I'm excited about this. I'm really excited. I'll go over it in a video, hopefully this weekend or maybe next week sometime. We are getting brand new characters and we know what characters they are and we're getting the one that I truly wanted in the Dark Knight. If that get, if that would have been out at release, that would have been my main, but it wasn't. So Sorceress is my main and Sorceress will be my main because I really like it now after I played it. Dark Knight would have to be crazy and I know they nerfed her into the ground. So I'm going to assume I will not be playing as her. But... I am looking forward to playing as Dark Knight. That'll probably be my Siri character, even though I wish my Siri character could be more useful, but Dark Knight, it's gonna be fun because it's melee. And I haven't, I know, I know Sorceress is melee, kind of, but it's, I, I want like melee as in like a melee weapon, a cool weapon. And that's where Siri comes into play. Speaking of Siri, I don't know if it'll make it to the channel. I have to play it and figure it out. But I'm going... Let's do this first and then I'll, I'll get to it. Who are you? Are are you here to save me? Does that mean Oz... Is, is Oz alright? What do you mean? Oz has disappeared. Then why were you out looking for me? Tina? Tina has been pretending to be Oz? What is happening? Tina and I were a couple before I met Oz. Tina and I split up when she and Fiori became handmaids to Lord Faust. We haven't seen each other since. What on earth is happening out there? Can you not... Can you... Really, can you not... Can you get out of here, please? Go away. We leveled up to level 43. Uh, society simply wouldn't accept romance between a princess and a peasant miner. Oz was locked in her room for a long time. After a difficult escape, Oz and I decided to meet in the hut where we distributed food to the workers and flee to another country. But the Lord, he sent guards to find us. We were ambushed with no hope of escape, so I blew up a black crystal ore to create a diversion to allow Oz the time to escape. She has to be safe. Even now, she may still be waiting at the well where we promised to meet. Can you go to the well and check if she's still there? Oz, she has to be safe. It's a well, it's a well on Marnie Farm. Please, I beg of you to help. Alright, I, I can handle that. But speaking of Siri, I'm going to be getting back into Monster Hunter. I want to get back into it for the Iceborne DLC. I think it kind of goes with the stuff I've been playing on the channel. This ESO, Final Fantasy. I know those are MMORPGs, and that's kind of like... It's like an MMO action adventure game. RP, it's an RPG. It's an RPG, but I'm going to get back into it. Um, and I'll see. I don't know if it'll make it to the channel, but I am going to get back into that. And that, what made me think of that is there's Siri and Geralt are now in that game. So that's, that's what I'm thinking about for that. Um, but yeah, that, that was kind of an off topic thing, but something I thought I'd say is that I'm going to be playing that again and I'll see if it actually makes it. Now, if I really enjoy it, I might upload it once a, when, once a week, like Monster Hunter Mondays or something like that. Uh, in preparation for the Iceborne DLC that's coming out later this year. Something like that. Because ESO is going to be Fridays, if you didn't know. 
Um, it's going to be Elder Scrolls Fridays until Elsewhere comes out. Then it'll be an everyday thing, and then it'll probably go back to being just a Monday thing, but or a Friday thing. But I think I'm going to move stuff to just daily things. Final Fantasy, I really love Final Fantasy, so I'm not going to set that to just one day. Neither am I going to set just Black Desert to one day. I, I love these two games the most. I think Elder Scrolls Online is good. It just doesn't capture me like this and Final Fantasy have. But there's other things that I want to try out. Um, we might have a testing game Tuesday or something like that or something like that. I, I don't know. I want to try out Terra and Neverwinter. I know I've tried them before, but Terra, Neverwinter, Skyforge. Not to, like, seriously get into them. Just to try them, see if there's something I would have fun playing once a week or something like that. We could have, like, Terra Thursdays or whatever. I don't know. I'm just thinking through out loud. Why are we going so far this way? Why can't I just cut up here? But I think that would be fun to have some of those videos like that. Did I get... I got one contribution point for that quest. Nice. Um, but I just think that would be cool to maybe have stuff. So you guys know, you know, this day this is going to come out. This is on this day this is going to come out. And then you can expect some sort of Final Fantasy or Black Desert every single day. I think that's the goal that I'm aiming for now is to get the channel towards something like that. And then obviously when new DLCs come out for games, stuff will get pushed and, and stuff like that. But here we go. Let's check the well. A foul-smelling well. Not a single trace of Oz can be found. There's no way. There's no way. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Hold on. Can you all just, you know, chill? Leave me alone. Oh, looks like they're actually going to listen to me. Thanks, guys. Uh, huh, nothing's here. It's just filled with a lump. No, I lied to myself. I lied to myself. Did I just one shot? No. I was going to say, did I just one shot that dude? Okay, can I? Please, game. Maybe this lump of mud ate Oz. Did that upset you? An entangled mess in the swamp. It doesn't mean we must look for Oz's corpse. I suppose we could search for her belongings in the set. Although I doubt we'll find anything. What do you think? Maybe we might find a clue if we defeat these monsters. Okay. Time to kill 13 mudsters. Is that really their name in the game? Mudsters? Oh, yeah, I forgot I bought the, like, really good staff on this character. Only this thing's, like, invincible. I've already, like, interacted with this node before. That's the funny thing, when I was trying to connect everything. Ooh, we got some armor out of that. There we go. Now there's a little bit more of them here. We can chain lightning. There's seven. There's nine. Try to chain that. There we go. Die. Thank you. What? Is this guy like... Oh my gosh. Is this dude like extra strong? Not what I want it. Not what I want it. Not what I want it. Oh my gosh. My dude is OP. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have the instant resurrections here. I was not... I was not expecting that. My dude was like... That was one of the, like, not... I'm trying to think of what they're called. The stronger monsters that are in the same area. Like, captain monsters. I don't... That's not what they're called, but that that's how I'm gonna... That's how I'm gonna refer to them until I remember they're called. They're just, like, bigger-looking versions of... Okay, let me go recover, if I can recover. I'm about to be level 50, which is the tragic part, then... Then I'm gonna have to deal with PvP. Okay, I gotta heal. Back up. Hide a little bit here. Alright, 
let's finish it off. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now, I think we have to head back to turn this quest in. Why, why, why is your, why is your audio pathing like this sometimes, game? You're killing me. Alright, we have a better, uh, we got the Chimera pu Pupil, so that's good. Oh, I have to hold on. Whenever my character stops running. There we go, switch that on. Switch that on over this. Let's pop these. Okay. Oh, please. Okay, good. I was like, oh, yes, please tell me there's another one of the big dudes behind me. It's ready to destroy my soul. Okay, I don't... I don't know why it took me here. Because all, all it wants me to do is look at... It wants me to talk to the Black Spirit. I need to dip out of this area. Okay, I think we're good. See, there's nothing to lose by listening to me. By the way, what does it say? Is it like a diary? Did Oz write it? Let's read it. I'm curious. Oz's journal. What is it? Can I take a look? Key. <laughs> oh, my dear Tulin. When shall the day come when we meet again? I wait in this well as we agreed, praying that soon the time will come. Yuck. I will never understand how humans can be so sentimental, even under such circumstances. The stench worsens as the days pass by. I think it may be affecting my mind, as I swear I saw mountains of mud moving as if they were alive. I feel something strange happening to my body as well. My hands and feet are starting to harden, but not like the petrification those poor workers went through. Now, this is different. It's as if my skin is turning into tree bark. I'm sorry, Tulin. I'm sorry. I've tried to keep my promise to you, but this place has now become too dangerous. I shall wait not far from here. If you ever find this journal, please come to the forest north of the farm. And here we go. Oh, I need to eliminate tree spirits to find a clue. Did she turn into a tree spirit? Uh, hello, lazy tree spirit. You're the first kill. That's, okay, now we can electrocute because it'll chain. I didn't think I was close enough to chain the other guys. Or to chain those two guys. Seven. I need to start farming for money so when that when the dark knight comes out I have the money to um to buy equipment for it. Because that's not going to be a character where I'm like, oh, that's going to be like a P-level character, probably. Where I power level it. Where I grind level it. Overdo the quest. Which I'm excited for. Then it'll be a question of, do I have time to play the ranger before new, more new characters come out? or That's what I'm interested in. I kind of want to get out of the first three months of this game so we can see their road another roadmap for them, just so we know kind of what to expect. Uh, if we're going to get, like, content updates a lot, or if the content updates are just early so they can keep people intrigued. That's always what I want to know about the games. Are they going to stick with a really rigorous and tough to keep with update schedule, or are they going to get kind of lazy? That's what I'm wondering. It's always what I wonder with some of these games. Now, that's a shiny necklace. It must belong to Oz. Who else would own a necklace with such a large gem? Maybe Oz really did turn into a tree. Maybe Oz was one of those trees you just defeated. You never know. <laughs> Ooh, boss time. Defeat the dim tree spirit. Wait a moment. Do you feel? Did you feel that too? I can sense a strong black energy in your mind. This is making me anxious. What if Oz ended up acquiring the powers of the black energy we found here? If that's the case, then she might get in the way of you becoming the ruler of all mankind. I'll have to check this out myself. I need to see what the energy, what this energy actually is. Ooh, defeat the dim tree spirit. Of course, the autopathing wants to take me 
in a dumb way. There we go. All right, boss time. This works out, like, perfectly. We're at 20 minutes of this episode, and we're getting a boss. This is, like, this is, like, the ideal scenario. Yeah, end the episode off with a boss. And this, like, whole episode made sense. This is, like, too good of an episode. This whole episode, like, flowed. It, it all went together. It made sense. It's too good. All right. So did Oz just turn into a giant tree boss thing? Whatever this is. I, I wonder if they have the... I, I never... There we go. I always want... Can I please, game? I, I always wonder with this game in particular. Do you, Did they go through... Are my fire attacks super effective against a tree? Because that would make sense. And, like, lightning should be, you know, medium effective. Dodge. Oh my gosh, this, this thing pisses me off. I just want to use the fire and it swings my sword or my staff because it's the same button. I know there's a cooldown on it, and that's kind of the issue, but. Okay, can I please get this attack off tree? Oh, there's a seven second cooldown on it? I actually didn't know there was seven second cooldown on it. Oh, I dodged too late. Yeah, I was, I was out of the range. That was good. Dodge back. Let's hit it with just some regular magic. There we go. That was an extended fight. That was actually... Not a hard fight, but that was a longer fight. Alright, what do you gotta say? Hee hee hee, that thing certainly wasn't human. It must have been an ancient tree spirit, one that has wandered these forests for a long, very long time. But if that's the case, then where did Oz go? The glowing- ooh, give me that gift. The glowing tree. How strange, even after getting rid of that tree spirit, I can still sense a strange energy. It's not the smell of black energy, but something else. Something different. It's not human, but it's, I, I suspect it's related to Oz. Over there. Let's go. Complete that. Alright. The real kind of question that's going to come is, how much do I really want to spend on this character gear-wise? I, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure... What I want to do gear-wise, because I, I don't think I'm going to do much with this character after, because I like Sorceress more. And then we have the, we have a uh, Dark Knight coming out. We have new characters, so I don't know what I want to do with this character. So I'm not sure what kind of upgrades for weapons and stuff I'm looking at potentially buying. But here we go, Sacred Tree. You are momentarily taken aback by a surge of mixed emotions as you place your hand on the tree. Oh, you were looking for me? By any chance did Tulin send you? Are you a tree now, really? You're a you're a tree. Or maybe even my father? My father? Tulin? Both of them are doing well, right? I see I left behind only painful memories for all those I loved. I'm sorry, but I have one last favor I must ask of you. As you can see, I'm no longer human anymore. Please tell Tulin that I am no longer of this world so that he'll stop looking for me. I still do not know how this happened to me, but every day it becomes harder to retain what little humanity is left of me. I fear I will soon fade away completely. I cannot bear the pain of imagining him grieving and latching onto his futile hope of finding me. And please, give this to my father. Tell him that I'm not going to be with him from now on, but that I'll always protect him and Keplin, no matter where I am. Thank you for all you've done. You're a kind adventurer for looking for me and for helping Keplin. 
All right. Last request. Deliver Oz's blessing to Marco Faust. Does this mean this dude's gonna stop being insane? Ooh, I can learn Lightning 5. Protected Area 4. Well, we're already level 46. It's gonna be not too long until... PvP's coming, guys. This is tragic. This is very, 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 very going to be very tragic when I have to fight <laughs> people on this character. I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to accept the fact that I'm going to die a bunch by enemy. I mean, to be fair, on my sorceress, I've been killed by enemies in the world three times. Which is not that much for how much I played on that character. So... I don't know, maybe it won't be too annoying, but I have a feeling it's gonna be it's gonna be something. I have a feeling it's not going to be rainbows and sunshine. When someone attacks me, I'm just straight dead. Because my gear is not gonna be a whole heck of a I mean it's gonna get better, but it's not gonna be some crazy amount better than what I have on now. Like we're looking at like 150 90 type of I mean I have this, the dagger we can get better. We can get a better dagger for sure. But this staff is like primo, probably tippy top of what I'm going to have as a staff on this character. So damage is not going to get too out of hand on this character. And that creates some, uh, some interesting, interesting dynamics. Not too far away now. It's going to be real interesting when we hit level 51. I hope they give me enough time uh, before releasing more characters that I'm able to do to play as the Ranger. I want to try the Ranger again. Um, I did beta, and all I can remember is I thought the Witch was better <laughs> when I used the Witch. But I love, love Archers in... MMORPGs. The only MMORPG, other than the ones I'm playing now, that I played for any extended period of time was Conquer Online. And I played a crate. You'll hear me reference Conquer all the time because it's the only MMO I know by heart. Um, I'm considering re downloading it and trying to play it again. I know they have a lot of auto stuff in it now, like auto hunting, and they still have the training grounds and stuff like that. So I'm, I might actually download that. Um, but point is, is that's the only. MMORPG that I have much experience in at this point and man I was I was a uh, so back in the day I don't know I had to be like 13 or 14 I was one of the top archers in that game um on my server I don't know about overall I, I did get ranked for a while I was like level 135 when level 135 was the max and then I did not get to 140 but my let me talk to Marco team. Faust Oz, my dear Oz, what what have I done? I put my daughter, my own flesh and blood, in harm's way and got trapped in a living nightmare I couldn't escape. I feel like this is all a dream, as if I'll wake up to see Oz's smiling gr smile greeting me. It is too late for regrets. You said Oz is in the forest to the north? Then it's not yet too late to be a proper father to her, the father she deserved in life. Thank you for assisting the incompetent man and for assisting Keplin. Only. Um, atonement. My sister's Tina? Sure. I know, Oz. Are you sure she's gone? Oh, what have I done? I'm to blame for all these terrible events. I knew she and Tulin planned to run away together. I always loved Tulin, but he fell in love with Oz. I could never forgive him for choosing her over me, so I... Sob, I'm not crying. I told the Lord about them. I was just trying to separate them. I didn't mean for things to go this far. You have to believe me. What do I do now? I guess I'll have to live with this guilt for the rest of my life, right? It's not too late for Tulin, though. Please find him. Here, take this key. Get Tulin out of the underground mine before something bad happens to him, too. Okay. I feel like I need to finish this quest line. So this episode's gonna be just a little bit long. But but I feel like it makes sense to, to finish this, this quest up. I mean, this whole episode, all it had to do was Oz and Tulin and, and Marco Faust. 
I do. I like how this episode went. This is probably my favorite episode I've recorded just because of the synergy of the whole thing. It's just, it, it's just perfect. It just makes too much sense. It's too good. It worked out just way too well. Workload. All right. Tulin, why are you back here in the corner by yourself? Hey, buddy, I'm back. Oz died. What nonsense. Oz, she promised me. She promised we'd meet again. I can't believe this. Whatever it takes, I'm going to find Oz. All right, ch chill, my dude. Oh, my dude just... Fiori? A wound that starts to heal. It seems Tulin can't accept the truth of your words. I also don't trust you completely yet. You stirred up quite the ruckus here in Keplin, and now you tell me the young lady turned into a tree? Yeah, it probably sounds a little crazy. However, my lord did change qu Really? Really? Go away. However, my lord did change quite a bit after your visit. I too feel like a heavy burden has been lifted from me. Even Tina. I know she feels the same way, so thank you. You not only save Keplin, but all of us as well. It will take time, but I know these wounds will heal. Ah, here we go. Good old Black Spirit. The story of the hero born upon the winds. Ah, uh, those Keplin people are so out of it. The Blackstone should have been ours. On the other hand, we did manage to achieve something else, though. Hehe, <laughs> we are the heroes who saved Calpheon. I can hear a barely noticeable melody traveling through the winds. Could it be the poets who are singing songs of our tales? There are probably hymns that are dedicated to us. I'm curious. Let's go back to Calpheon. Hee hee hee. Alright, so let me do that. No, get back get back out here, buddy. Get back get back out. Give me that. Alright, so we got a better necklace. Ooh, way better. Nice. Inventory expansion. We got Delphit's Castilian Carnage Weapon Box. I already know that's not gonna be better. It's actually really good. 42 to 50? That's actually really nice. Uh, compared, I mean, I'm gonna hold on to that, because we might sell this when we're all said and done, and, um, um, use that on this character, just to get the money back from this, but that's, uh, that's about it for this episode, guys, um, in the next one, we will head back and we'll listen in on conversations of the villagers near the south gate of Calpheon, but, uh, yeah, we're back to, like, main story elements, like, main, main story that I think is, like, unavoidable. It's what's gonna happen. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoy it. I'm gonna let this auto run back to Calpheon so that we don't have to start the next episode by running across the map to Calpheon. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did, subscribe if you have a not, and I will catch you all in the next episode of The Witch Walkthrough. Peace out, guys.